everyone, welcome back to Nightly Nerds. I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we're playing... Mega Man X. Mega Man X. So we're going back to collect a few things. Because I want to get the Hadouken. Hadouken! Alright, so yeah. I, I was finding out why I was having the problem. I, I did a little more practice while I was like... Still is my favorite song. M ...mapping out stuff. What? So it's like, there's your basic jump, but if you hit dash and jump at the same time... It's so much faster. And I had to practice it because... Hold on. Oh, nice. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. And then we leave. Because once you beat it, you can escape. And once you beat it, you can escape. Um, escape. There's my password because I got a new thing. If anyone wants to be at this point too, you can use that password. Oh yeah, by all means. <laughs> um, so this one was really easy. It kind of irritated me that I missed it. Oh, it, it, I, it was an it, I had to miss it because I needed a certain thing to be triggered. Um, Hashtag triggered. Not, not that, sorry, not triggered, but I needed a certain thing to access it. Um, I'm not getting the jump timers. There we go. You know, you could shoot. I know. I'm trying to get these guys bunched up. Now, one of them gave you a power up, huh? <laughs> nope, but they are the best ones to give you anything in terms of power ups. So, you know who Alex Jones is? Uh, no. The gay frogs guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn the, the freaking frogs gay. Turn the freaking frogs gay. And then, and then they, got, they got human pig hybrids and never that guy. Anyways, Ooh. um, uh, so, you know, he got de he got deplatformed, right? Like yes. Twitter, YouTube, everybody kicked him off simultaneously. And they said it was because of the, uh, there's a lot of controversy in a way about it. I mean, like. I understand why someone wouldn't want him to have a voice, you know, but the, the scary thing is if they shut him off, then who's next? Yeah, they're going to start shutting. And just shut down people who disagree with them, which isn't necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily a good thing. But uh, he was recently, I've never actually, like, listened to the guy or his show or I've just seen the memes and stuff. But I do listen to Joe Rogan and Joe Rogan is a friend of his. Um, or at least they're friendly with each other. And... Um, Okay, so I need the fire. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. And then we escape. Then we escape. But, uh, and, and so they were friendly and Joe, because like there was, as crazy as he is, he's been right before. Yes. Like he's, he's come up with these, he's had these conspiracy theories that were then later proven true. And occasionally, I mean, most of the time he's wrong, you know. Yes. But, um, and I also know like. He's, he's been, been he's, an extremist. He's so. been praised by the left before. Yes. But. Right now, because he liked Trump over Hillary, the, the the left hates him, and these are the people who kind of deplatformed him. And part of it was the Sandy Hook thing. Though I, what he says, he says he never said Sandy Hook was was a false flag or fake, like it didn't happen. They were all actors or whatever. He never said that, but he or he never like 100% said that. And why he was reporting on the uh, that people were thinking that because it's happened before in, in in our in U.S. history or at least been planned by CIA and stuff like that. So he brought it up, and it was very obviously very controversial. And then he got deplatformed because people were going down to Sandy Hook, and he made a valid point. He was recently on, on Joe Rogan's show, and uh, one of, well, first first of all, he uh, he kind of burned his bridge with Joe Rogan for a little bit there because he kind of made said oh, some statements okay. about him and his family, and supposedly said that Joe Rogan was a uh, was like a was like a, uh, a shill for the CIA. Oh yeah, because <laughs> you know he's crazy. And he gets going and he doesn't stop. But um, and but uh, Joe Rogan recently had him back on and he basically said that like he never really, he does not think that Sandy Hook was fake and he just kind of reported on the fact that some people were thinking it was fake and then the problem is the news just keeps bringing it up. So people keep thinking he says that still and then there's like crazy people who listen to his show or listen to things about him who, if the news is reporting the opposite of what he said or then they believe what he what he supposedly said must be true. So then they're going down to Sandy Hook and like threatening the families of the, of the kids, the victims. Oh, goodness. It's like really crazy stuff. But 
But I've never really watched this guy before. So he comes on and then he starts going. This guy starts rambling. When he gets on, he's like, he got on something about like aborting baby feces, uh, baby fetuses and then um, newly born children with abortion and then something about pig and, and ape hybrids and then aliens and the new world order and they're going to kill everybody with a disease and his dad who's a dentist for the CIA or some shit. I was just like, wow, this guy is fucking nuts. <laughs> He just starts going, but the scariest thing about it is, as nuts as he is, as nuts as he is, if he was ever, if anything he says is ever happens to be true, it's gonna be scary. <laughs> I can see why people who are crazy, yeah, who are like schizophrenic or something, and listen to him. That's why he's dangerous. So I understand why Twitter and Facebook and and YouTube and stuff would want to demonetize or not not, not demonetize and deep platform him, kick him off the platform. I can understand that. At the same time, those crazy people are going to be crazy anyways, and so they're going to they're going to listen to him on his own stuff, or they're going to find another way, or find someone else to listen to, or come up with their stuff, or they're going to replace him and be the crazy ones. And I guess now they're going after conspiracy channels. Really? Yeah, like uh, they're not going to promote them anymore. So if you have a conspiracy channel, you're less likely to get promoted, which that kind of sucks. It really does. We don't have one of those, but. <laughs> I don't know how true that is either, though. That's kind of cool. But it's all very interesting. My whole thing with it is... Uh, it's just... It, for me, it's the scary side of things. Like... You know, yeah, who's next? Who are they going to deplatform next, you know? Someone who says something they happen to disagree with, but they've never really done anything before in the past, they can just decide it's over. Like, that's not only by the, the term, like, hate speech, or the whole thing getting triggered when people say that. But it's like, well, well anything can trigger you. You know what I mean? Sheesh. Okay. No mercy. I need I needed to kill him because I need he would have broken the height to, to get, get up there. To get up there. Okay, so that's up. Well, we didn't need to be here? No, we did, but uh, Oh, is that Armadillo guy yeah. that we're fighting? We're, right. we're we're fine though. We got uh two lives and two full sub tanks, so we're good. <laughs> You don't need to kill him now, right? Don't need to, but uh, might as well. I'm not Picks gonna, and giggles. I'm not and all gonna that. rush to it. Yeah, see, I couldn't. Couldn't have reached up there. Gotcha. Here we go. Here comes massive lag. Whoa! Massive lag incoming. You hold object limit. Oh, you let those little birdie men live, huh? Yep. This is the boss. This is the boss. Oh, here we go. And he's weak to spark mandrill. Spark mandrill. Man, if I if I was a gay porn star, that'd be my name. Spark mandrill. Yeah. Or just mandrill. No, it's gotta be spark first. And there would there would just be a hyphen between man and drill. Oh. Well, I guess you could be, could be not a gay porn star and have it, but it, I think it works better as a gay porn star. Ooh, he's doing some damage. Ooh, he's doing some damage. Oh! That fills you back up. I can't remember the, uh, there it is. The correct button. Yeah, so Spark Mandrill pops his armor off, so he's no longer an armored armadillo. He's just a just roly a little, poly. Just a roly poly. Sheesh. All right. Take that, armor, armadillo. So we got him. Him's, him's the deads now. All right. So then we go take on our next buddy, Launch Octopus. Launch Octopus? Yeah, Launch Octopus. I don't think you've been to that world yet. Nope. We have not seen it. We never. We actually never came to Armored Armadillos. I think you I went there once. You thought you could but probably try it, and then I don't know. If we got to the boss, but I think you went there before. Maybe there was a there was a little point there where you were a little lost. Oh well, because normally you're just out of practice. And normally you do chill penguin, then you fight flame mammoth. You take flame mammoth to I believe storm eagle. No, sorry, you go chill penguin to spark mandrel, spark mandrel to armored armadillo. There's like a yeah, a little. Up there's there, a is, loop. there is a loop, but we went a different way because yeah. you just weren't feeling it. Because Chill Penguin is 100% the easiest. 
which is why I was able to beat him so quickly. And then you just couldn't do anything else. I just couldn't do anything else. All right, so launch octopus. We'll go. We'll see what the world is. Launch octopus. And then after that, will end this episode. <clears throat> hey, he really is an octopus. Uh -huh. Did you watch the uh, the penguins of Madagascar? I their did movie? not. No. Uh, so it's it's uh, Rain Wilson is the villain in it, and he's an octopus who dresses up like a scientist. It's actually kind of funny. I'd actually say it's better than the Madagascar movies. Hands Probably down. is. Like I, I, opposite of the Minion movies, like the Spectacle Me is better, but the, the Penguin movie is better than Madagascar. Madagascar is okay. I mean, I don't want to knock it too much. <laughs> A little butt clinch there. Just a little bit. Just but a wee I, bit. I know, I know it's water, so we'd, we'd jump high. Yeah. Anyways. If you could change your feet. Would ya? Would ya? All yeah. right, everybody. That'll end this episode of Nightly Neds. As always, I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.